Then we've got a brand new keyword research tool. This is up and coming and it's called One of Ten, made by someone that has been working with Mr. Beast himself. One of Ten is a tool that allows you to do research based on outlier videos, meaning they've built a platform where they collect data from all videos on YouTube and they've added very specific filters that allows you to find exactly what you're looking for. However, how do you do keyword research? Let me show you. This is the platform itself. This is the keyword research tool. They don't have an extension, but it's also not needed. On One of Ten, you've got the home page. The whole premises of this is that it will show you outlier videos. So videos that perform much better compared to normal on a channel. So this video right here performed 2.6 times better than average on that channel specifically. If you go to home, it will just show you random videos. However, you can also filter per category. For example, you're in the tech niche, you can click tech and then it will only show you outlier videos in the tech niche. For example, this video performed 150 times better than average. You'll be able to open up that video by simply clicking on it. And then as you can see, it will open this up, which will then allow you to analyze it. I actually do so by adding vidIQ to the sauce as well, so that I can take a look at the historical data for this video. Going back to one of 10, you may also click on find similars to dive into a rabbit hole. For example, if you wanna find more similar content that are outliers based on Google DeepMind as a topic, you can click on find similars and it will dive into that rabbit hole. As you can see, we now get more videos around that topic that also performed well, which helps you analyze whether this topic or niche is trending as of right now, which honestly I think is a really cool idea. You'll be able to save those as well by clicking on bookmark and then adding it to one of your folders. If you then go to save right here, that will indeed show up with all of the videos that you added inside that folder. Apart from clicking on an industry, you can also filter this. If you click on filters, it will open up the following filters. And there's quite a lot of them, which is good. Starting off with the multiplier rate. So how much better did those videos perform compared to usual on a channel? If I set this at four, I'm only gonna see videos that performed four times better than normal for a channel, which by default is gonna show me viral video topics. I can also filter on a minimum amount of views, for example, 50,000 uploaded in the last X amount of time, for example, the last three months. This way I can find recent keywords that will perform well, as well as the subscriber count. Ultimately setting this at a lower subscriber count, because now I'm gonna find videos that got over 50,000 views in the last three months for a small channel with less than 28,000 subscribers. Click apply changes and those videos will now show up. And then when it comes to keyword research specifically, they've got the search bar right here. Just like on the other tools, I will now search for AI. And these are the videos that show up regarding that. Now, as you can see, this is a totally different concept than the previous two tools, because this is not really gonna show you keywords itself, but rather videos, including your keyword that performed well. So all of these are AI videos that perform better than usual for a channel, which allows you to find video ideas that are proven to do well. Additionally, I can then go to filters again, put my multiplier, subscriber count range, as well as the publication date. And then as you can see, these are very, very well performing videos in the AI space. An example would then be AI animation generator, which I can click to analyze the video and see what it's about, as well as click on find similars to see if there are more videos like this that perform really well. And as you can see, there are 38 times better, six times better, 21 times better, all about AI animation videos. And because of that, I have now found this video topic right here that has been doing well for other channels. And that's how you can start finding video ideas slash keywords with the one of 10 tool. In case you wanna try out one of 10 yourself, I'll leave my personal link in the description down below for you, as well as a full tutorial about this platform. Well, let's wrap up my conclusion for this tool. Overall, one of 10, in my opinion, is a great tool for overall research on YouTube. For keyword research specifically, it is not a 10 out of 10 tool. However, I do use it myself. I have a subscription and I use it in combination with vidIQ as well as tool number four that I'll show you in this video. And what I found myself so far is that I find a lot of keywords with one of 10 that I've not really seen before.